We went ahead and stocked up for the month. We did a Sam's Club, Walmart, and faced my fears and ran into Winn-Dixie to get a couple of essentials. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, we are doing a monthly massive, massive for me, grocery trip. So I usually do not typically buy this much at one time, but we are eating breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks myself. The hubby now is home 24 seven and the boys. And I don't know about y'all, but they are flying through food like I have never seen. We're just used to having dinners and snacks occasionally and doing lunches and breakfasts out most of the time because we are a family on the go. So this is a big adjustment. So the grocery bill is going to be more per month while we are on this quarantine. So we ran into Sam's Club. I do want to tell y'all the trick with Sam's Club is just like Walmart. So what I did was I added everything to my cart for Sam's club and then at midnight I was able to get the next day's time slot Now I will say in between 20 minutes I'm so glad I checked out when I did they were reserved for the entire day so Sam's Club is way worse than Walmart as far as being able to get a time slot so that is the trick there just add everything to your cart check out at midnight and then you're good to go they were only out of stock at one thing from Sam's Club so very grateful for the online pickup it was easy peasy I was able to roll up they I loaded the stuff my Myself in the car but there was no line nobody waiting it was so easy and I know there's so many horror stories that y'all are telling me with Sam's Club pickup and Walmart pickup but my area thankfully has been really great we also did the Walmart grocery pickup and it was also great but they were out of stock and they subbed a lot of things this week because our area is just so bombarded because we are in a hot spot in southern Louisiana it is really bad down here so everybody's trying to use these pickups as much as possible so their stores are out of stock so what I did is I ran into Winn-Dixie I had my mask I had my gloves I had my sanitizer the anxiety was through the roof but I do want to uh, go ahead and gloat on Winn-Dixie versus Rouse's last week if you watched that video because they were amazing. They were sanitizing and wiping down carts and they were being so careful with spacing the carts out. People were social distancing like crazy. It was incredible and Furthermore, they were fully stocked with everything and some surprises I found too. So let me take you down to the counter to show you what we got from Sam's Club for the month, from Walmart, and then just a few things from Winn-Dixie. So we're going to start off with Sam's Club. Overview was about $333 with tax. They were only out of one thing and I was not mad about what they were out of. I'd rather have the food versus a non-food item. So I will be popping up all the prices for Sam's Club. I know y'all like that for the monthly hauls. So as always, I got a 21 slice each of the mild cheddar cheese and the pepper jack cheddar cheese. This is such a great deal there and was happy they had it because we love having this on bunless burgers or making sandwiches for me and the hubs. I got some tomatoes on the vine for the hubby. I like slicing these up and putting them on side salads or just salt and pepper with some dressing for him if I don't plan on having a veggie option and these are like really good price I got some blackberries since we were there because it's a way better deal to get them at Sam's Club versus Walmart and they are so pretty I love these Driscoll strawberries that they have strawberries blackberries that they have they're so huge and myself and Trey love blackberries now grapes the boys have been loving some grapes and they've been about five dollars for maybe half of this at Walmart so I don't remember the price but it'll be popped up but look how beautiful these look and I went ahead and got that since we're doing this big monthly Sam's Club trip instead of doing like our weekly at Walmart. Then got some milk options. I got some half and half for some recipes I have going on this month. And then I got some heavy whipping cream. Yes, don't come for me. There's a couple of things in this haul I normally wouldn't buy because of ingredients, but being the circumstances, we're doing what we have to do. They are not selling the heavy whipping cream that I like at Walmart. So I opted for the members bar. It does have carrageenan in it, but again, I needed some for some recipes and I'm not being super picky with all the ingredients we've got going on with what we have going on what we're dealing with. Y'all can relate, right? I then got some Members Mark Mild Yellow Cheddar. I usually get the Sharp Cheddar. They were sold out, so Cheddar Cheese 
and the block form has been scarce at my Walmart and at Sam's Club, but they had this one and I was grateful for it because we will definitely go through it. Then speaking of cheese, I got the Members Mark Cracker Cuts. This is the Mild Cheddar Swiss Colby and Pepper Jack. Got this one for snacking. We fly through these and this is a great deal. It's like $9. Then of course, the Chef Chamois. Last month when I did a Sam's Club haul, y'all were like, girl, you didn't get the Chef Chamois. That's because I still had some on ham. I am totally out. So I was glad that they had this in stock because I'm going to be making it broccoli for a side most nights this month on the meal plan. And I love just adding this to broccoli and you're done. It's so good. It's got Parmesan cheese in there. It's delicious. It's definitely keto friendly. They have some that are not. So definitely pick up the right one. They have like a cinnamon one, sugar one, strawberry one. Don't pick those up. Get this one. And then there's a French onion one. I think that's pretty good. I haven't tried, but it's definitely keto. Then got a huge thing of sour cream. The last time I got this one was not last month, but the month before and it did go bad on me because we didn't go through enough but now that we're home we're going to be going through more so I opted for that it's a much better deal than buying the smaller one at Walmart we're going to be having pizza in a bowl many times this month for lunches or even for a dinner option for the weekend and I don't like the pepperoni they do sell at Sam's it's filled with corn syrup and all kinds of nasty stuff but they did have the have this Genoa salami so I thought we could use this for our pizza in a bowl it is like a portion thing but I liked this one better than the ingredients that I saw for some of the big packs. So I think this is like $9 for eight packs, so a little over a dollar a pack. It's great for snacking if you are keto, but it, like I said, I'm gonna be taking these out and making our recipes with it. So happy to see that was a pretty clean ingredient salami option that they had. I did get some Philadelphia cream cheese. It's still on that instant savings up until I think like the seventh. So they only let me put one to two items for most things in my cart. Some things more, but this was just one. I wish I could have got two because we fly through this with the keto queso. I am going to be baking a lot more this month because the keto cut's going to be over, but that's okay. We can get some individual packs at Walmart if need be. I still have a little bit of this from last month's haul, but happy it was still on the instant savings. Now, something I normally don't get is the butter from Sam's Club. Y'all know I love my Kerrygold butter and Walmart has been carrying it. However, it's like $4 for two sticks for Kerrygold versus Costco. I am not going to Costco because it's in New Orleans. As most of y'all know, we don't live in New Orleans. We're not far from it, but that's where the cases are the worst. So I'm definitely not going to Costco. So we are going to be using the member's mark and it's going to be fine. Okay. So like I said, there's going to be some things you normally don't see from me, but that's because of the circumstances we have going. I did get some bagels. Yes, you normally don't see these and no keto peeps. These are not keto bagels. I got some cinnamon, raisin, and then some plain. They are totally out of the Dave's Killer Bread bagels everywhere. I can't find them at Rouse's. I went in last week. They don't have them at Walmart. And then Sam's does carry them, but they're sold out. So the boys are liking like half of one of these for breakfast or lunch with maybe a nut butter on it and some fruit on the side, whatever. I don't mind that for them. So I went ahead and got these two. I only have half a pack left, so I stocked up and I was shocked that Sam's even had these because most stores are out of all bread options by me right now. Bagels, bread, whatever, it's totally out. The carbalicious people are going nuts right now. <laughs> then I totally forgot to put Easter food on the meal plan, like make an Easter dinner. And we normally do a ham. They were sold out of all big hams. A meat protein is really hard to find here right now in some stores, some stores not, but for the pickups, it's really hard to get any meat. So I just went ahead and opted for these Smithfield Anytime ham steaks and it's, it's a lot. So these are going to be way more than what we need for Easter dinner, but I can freeze some of these. So I'm just going to like uh, make some type of keto glaze for these and chop these up into little like portions for us. And we're going to make some keto mac and cheese, some Dak Keto Lady green beans and call it a day. I even have some keto dressing from Thanksgiving that I froze that I'm going to save and we're going to have that on the side with this as well. We then got a little bacon wasted. So they were only allowing me to put one of the members mark bacon in my cart. This is three packages. So you get three pounds of bacon. It's such a killer deal. We go through a lot of bacon and I have a lot of like eggs and bacon on the meal plan right now. And there's a lot of recipes that I need bacon for. So I wanted to make sure I had enough because again, in my regular Walmart and in my local grocery store chains, the bacon is very scarce. The meat's very scarce. So I got the members mark, but I also got the Hormel black label thick cut. And this was on an instant savings. So this was a pretty good deal. So I opted for this three pound one as well. And that should be more than enough than we need for the month. But I was happy they were able to put one of each one in there so I could get the amount that I needed. And as far as the bacon goes, we've talked about this many times on grocery hauls and different videos. 
almost all bacon except for at Whole Foods with that paleo one. It's gonna have a little bit of sugar or turbinado sugar. It's so minuscule, guys. It is not going to mess up your ketones unless you eat this whole three pounds, so don't worry about it. Y'all know I love the Members Mark mozzarella chicken meatballs. When I first placed my order, they were out of stock, but I waited and they came back in stock and I was so happy because I have spaghetti and meatballs on the meal plan. These things are so good and what I love most about them, you've seen me talk about before if you watch my other Sam's Club hauls, is the ingredients are so clean and then it is only one net carb for three meatballs. It is so clean, so good, and so tasty, and so easy. Like, they're already cooked. You just heat them up so, so good to add to an Alfredo sauce, or you're gonna see some spaghetti sauce I bought. Oh, no brainer, and the price is right. Then I got some yogurt for Waylon. He loves this Oikos Triple Zero, and this is a much better deal than buying them at Walmart individually. And my Walmart has been sold out of like the three or the six packs that they sell, so so thankful that they had this one. It's the six vanilla, six mixed berry, and six strawberry. He loves this, and what I like about it is it does not have carrageenan in it or acylfame potassium, which we've talked about in other videos that a lot of your yogurts have, which is not good. So I opt for that one. So glad and grateful that Sam's sells it. Now this is something, again, don't come for me because you're like, girl, you told us not to buy these. Yes, I know. In that hot dog sausage video that I posted, eat this, not that, I said not to buy the Nathans. However, there has been no hot dogs in sight. There's no Oscar Mayer. There's nothing at Walmart. There's just none. Even at Sam's Club, this and the Sam's Club brand was the only ones that they had. And the Sam's Club brand is four net carbs per hot dog and it has nasty ingredients. This one is just one net carb per hot dog. It does have the sodium nitrates in it, which I'm not a fan, but it doesn't have all the other nasty stuff that the Sam's Club brand did. So you know what? Pick and choose your battles right now, y'all. Try to pick the best thing that you can. I know a lot of y'all don't have much at all to choose from, so just choose the best thing that you have on hand. Don't feel bad about it. Don't think that um, I'm making you feel bad about an ingredient. If you have to choose something, we got to do what we got to do right now. So Waylon has been requesting hot dogs. I'm going to be making pig in the blankets, stuff like that. So I went ahead and opted for this one. That's all they had. That's all they had. It was the lesser of two evils. Sam's does sell almond flour. I've been getting it at Costco. I think it's just a little bit more fine, the one from Costco, but I used to buy this in the beginning of my keto journey. Most of y'all know when I didn't have a Costco membership and it's just fine, especially if you sift it, it's delicious. So this is the blue diamond almond flour. I have some on hand, but it probably won't be enough for all the baking I plan on doing it this month. So I wanted to go ahead and have it on hand since I knew we had a lot of baking on the meal plan. I am completely out of this and we fly through this. So we eat this on top of bunless burgers, salads. I put this in omelets, everything. I absolutely love this stuff and it's such a killer deal at Sam's versus Walmart. I didn't think we'd be able to do the Sam's pickup. So I was looking at other options at Walmart and whoa, what a better deal at Sam's Club. So this is the real crumble bacon. It's less than $10. Yes, it does have a little bit of sugar, but just like I said with that, it is not gonna be anything that affects your journey. My Sam's does carry the Rayos, which I'm so thankful for because y'all this stuff is nine dollars a bottle at Wal walmart's a little bit cheaper it's like seven something but at my winn dixie and at whole foods this stuff is almost ten dollars a bottle it's nine dollars and something i think for a two pack this is the marinara so it's 22 ounces per jar i got that for our spaghetti and meatball night love this stuff and i'm so happy that sam sells it i know the last time i did go in sam's club though it said limited time only so i don't know how long it's going to be there but definitely check guys if you've been looking for that my sam's carries that and the g hughes barbecue sauce y'all saw that from last haul when i was able to go in before all this went down they are carrying a lot of keto options now so we did get a little tortilla chip wasted if you are new my oldest loves keto queso with chips he's not keto but he is gluten free as much as possible low sugar that kind of stuff and this is the chip that i recommend if y'all can get at sam's it's the on the border organic traditional style blue corn tortilla chips because it's made with expeller pressed oils which means it's not stripped of all the good stuff and they put artificial bad stuff in it so this is the chip you want to get they also have that what is it the I don't remember the quinoa chips. They're not terrible, but you want to get this one over that one. But I know times are tough right now, so get whatever you can get. But if you can find that one, opt for that one. I did get some rice cauliflower. My Walmart has been sold out of all cauliflower, frozen, fresh, whatever. And I need just cauliflower to make mashed cauliflower. But I can take this rice and I can put it in my immersion blender and make 
my Kali Mash. So I went ahead and got that since I had some and it's a pretty decent price. Got Waylon more of his Go-Go Squeeze. This is the seven apple, seven cinnamon, seven apple strawberry. And then the Gimme Five is like a mixed blend of different fruits and he loves a different variety. So every time he gets an applesauce, he's like, what flavor is it? So it's just better than having all apple. Sam's Club does sell a cheaper version of this and it's pretty decent ingredients. So whatever you wanna choose, but this is just switching things up and making it a little interesting and fun for him. We then got our drinks. We were out of drinks and I have been buying some on Amazon, but Amazon is not a good deal compared to Sam's Club. Now, if you can't find them at Sam's Club, do Amazon because it's shipped to your door. It's better than nothing, right? But you get 24 in here for $14 and some change. Amazon is $9.99 for 12. So you definitely get a better deal with this. So I got two of them. Hopefully this will last for a little while. If not, we will do an Amazon filler for um, the hubby and then the kids drink these every once in a while. I'm trying to just limit them to the stirs. I did buy them something that they love though. So this is 24. This is the black cherry, orange mango, black raspberry, lemon lime. It's a new mix it says, I think it is. And then this one is the cherry limeade, the classic lemonade, black raspberry and grape raspberry. So I think last month they were different with the flavors. So they are a little bit different mixture. I got two of those. I did get Trey some of his good nights. So happy to see these. They've been sold out at Sam's Club for weeks and when they have the little package at Walmart, but they are like $10 for something stupid, like eight good nights. So you get 58 in here. He does wear these at night, obviously. And we were pretty low. So happy and grateful that they had them and they were in stock. Now, last month I did haul these ready protein waters that Christy Davis had suggested on her YouTube channel. Guys, these things, the boys love them. So they have no sucralose, no dyes, which is awesome. It's orange mango, blueberry, lemon ice. There's 15 grams of protein, zero sugar. So as far as the macros on them, they have one carb in them. And I think it's a little bit more carbs because it says four servings per container and there's 16.9 ounces. So it might be like four carbs or something for the entire bottle, but a lot of your drinks are like that, that we drink on keto. You don't drink the whole thing. You just kind of sip on it. But for kids, guys, these ingredients are spot on. They're sweetened with stevia, all natural stuff. The boys absolutely love them. They're not on their instant savings anymore. They're pretty pricey for 12 count but I like having those on hand versus their stir water that's like a treat drink for them. For myself, I got the Members Mark Plus Water. This is the uh, 15 one liter bottles and this is the purified electrolytes added pH balance water. I've been liking the electrolyte water, like the smart waters and then they have one at Walmart that's really good. This was a great price. I wanna say this was under $9. Your smart water and some of the other ones are so pricey. So I went ahead and got that because I have been fasting lately and I've been loving drinking this while on my fast. So I wanted to have that on hand, surprised that they had that as well. So that is everything we got this month and grateful for a monthly Sam's Club trip because I didn't think I was gonna be able to do one, y'all. It was kind of tricky. But now let's get into our Walmart haul. So here is our little Winn-Dixie and Walmart grocery pickup. Walmart was $169 with tax, so let me get into what we picked up from there. So we did get some strawberries. The boys have been loving strawberries, and Mama has too. Eat the damn berries. If you've been with me for a while, you know what that means. Got Waylon some bananas, of course. I did get myself some liquid egg whites. First off, when I did my pickup earlier in the week, they were out of eggs, so I thought this would be my only option. We still have a few on hand, but we go through eggs like crazy, and I'm gonna be making my good friend, Logan Goody Beats. He's been doing like an egg white with a nut butter and chalk zero syrup combo. I know that sounds weird, but it looks delicious, and I bet it is, so I cannot wait to try that. We tried that mountain gluten-free Canyon Bakehouse bread last week, and they loved it. Definitely not keto, again, for my keto peeps. That's for my kiddos but it's way bigger slices and it's softer in my opinion, but they were out of stock. So we got the country white. This is the regular kind we usually get, but man, we are converted to that mountain one. So, so good. And I couldn't find it in Winn-Dixie. They carry this brand too. They were totally out too. So everybody knows about it apparently than me. It was so good last week. I didn't eat any, but I'm just saying the kids really liked it. And from the texture and the size, it's much better than just this country white one for my gluten-free mamas out there. I did get two 18 counts of eggs because they had them. Eggs have been very 
scarce around here, guys. Again, I am in a hot spot in Southern Louisiana, so when I see something and I'm able to get it, I'm getting it just to have it so I don't have to worry about it later on when we might not have it. This has been going on for weeks and weeks now and it has not gotten any better as far as availability of some things. I did get some Brussels sprouts, so I think this is a pound. I plan on making some. I haven't had Brussels sprouts in forever and honestly, I've only tried them one or two times in my lifetime, but when I've tried them here as of late, they've been delicious. So I will be the only one that partakes in those but can't wait to have that for a side. I did get some more shredded lettuce for my shredded lettuce haters out there. Yes, we did get some more shredded lettuce. And then I also got some premier, premium romaine salad. They didn't have the little ones, so I opted for the big one because we plan on having side salads for most of our dinners this week. I got some radishes. So I i don't even know if I've even tried a radish in my life. Y'all comment down below. But apparently this is supposed to be a potato substitute for my low-carb or keto peeps. And I'm going to put that in my venison stew. And the hubby was like, ah, I don't know about that because he's not about a lot of vegetables, honestly. But we're going to try it. I'm going to make him try it too. I got two lemons for waters. That's going to help with your immune system. If you have lemons and you see them, guys, snag them up and put that in your water. I had the question about, does that have carbs? in it? Is that going to kick me out of ketosis? Guys, I think a whole lemon has two carbs. So if you're only doing like a little quarter and squeezing that in your water per day, that's nothing. And that's going to boost your immune system. It's so good for digestion. Highly, highly recommend y'all getting some. Also highly recommend y'all getting some avocados. So they did sub the Mama Jamas again. I don't know if they're ever going to get the smaller packages. I don't know what's up with that, but I don't mind because these things are so good. I don't know what it is, but the big ones just taste better in my opinion. I don't know. But I did get three little ones too because I eat one per day. I've been limiting myself to half of one of these big ones per day because it's just a lot of grams of avocado and equivalent to one little one in my opinion. Very good. Did get some cilantro for Taco Tuesday night. I've been missing it and it just adds a little restaurant quality. And being that we're not able to get out and enjoy our Tex-Mex and stuff right now, I'm bringing that home to us. I also got the hub some more of this pico de gallo. Y'all know he loves this on his tacos and taco bowls when we do that each night. Now I added some two good yogurt you're gonna see in a minute. My favorite is the vanilla and the coconut. The coconut's only carried at one store by me, which which is Rouse's. And if y'all watched my grocery haul, what was it last week? I'm gonna try to stay out of that place from now on. So I opted for the mixed berry. I had vanilla in my cart. It was out of stock. So I just got two mixed berry from Walmart. This I thought was gonna be sold out because it was sold out pretty much the whole week when I had my cart ready, but then it was available and I was like, let's go. So that keto lady just posted her faux refried beans and I wanna try that for our taco Tuesday night. So you need this eggplant, peppers and zucchini blend and apparently it's hard to come by. So so happy they had it. They were only allowing me to put one in my cart. So I did, because we're gonna have taco Tuesday multiple times this month. I wanted to pick up more, but you know what? We gotta do what we gotta do. OMG, so this was the hallelujah, praise the Lord find up at the Walmart. I posted this on my Instagram. Y'all know if you've been with me from the very beginning of my keto journey last year, Rebel Ice Cream is my absolute favorite because of the ingredients are so clean and being that it is so stinking delicious. They carry it at Walmart now, guys. Check your Walmart. At first, they only had the mint chocolate chip at my Walmart, and then throughout the week, they started adding more flavors. We just got a mass email from Rebel saying that they're going to try to have every flavor available at Walmart in the next month to come. So definitely keep checking, keep checking. So we got the cookies and cream. This one is eight net carbs. The hubby loves that one. We both also love the cookie dough and they had it. So I got two of them. Again, you can only put one or two things in your cart. I got what I could. And then they also have the butter pecan. Now I will say these are $2 less than what I usually pay at my local grocery store. So, so happy Walmart is carrying these now because it's going to be more affordable and more available to us. And you know, since I'm getting off this keto cut, we are going to start enjoying some of our favorites that we did beforehand. Love this stuff, guys. If you haven't tried it now, a lot of y'all were saying that you can find it at Walmart because you could never find it before. Definitely check. Okay. We've talked about Rebel way too long. Y'all can see I'm a little excited about the ice cream. So I got some mozzarella cheese. They didn't have the big box. So I got two. This was a substitution, which was fine. I had two of these little ones because this one was out of stock when I made my order. And then it flipped when I went to pick up. So I got that one. This was also a substitution. I had the great value in here and they were out. So they subbed me for the same size of the craft. I got some white American cheese. This is a pound and a quarter of the Land O'Lakes brand from the deli. That's what I make Trace Keto Queso with. Also, y'all were raving about the perfect bars last week. And let me tell you, my kids absolutely love these things. I wish I could find them in a big 
bulk pack. I know you can at Costco, but like I mentioned last week, we're not going to Costco. So I got the dark chocolate peanut butter ones too. I can only put two in my cart and the peanut butter. They also have an almond flavor one at my store, but I'm not sure if the kids will like these. But these ingredients, guys, like I mentioned last week, are so clean, super high in protein, really, really good. I've been giving this to them as like an afternoon snack to tide them over till dinner or for breakfast with some fruit, and they've been loving that. So uh, something that you don't normally see from me besides Rebel ice cream is ice cream in general. So they have a Blue Bunny brand that sells a frozen yogurt that is super clean, guys, but they were sold out. Briars is good too. So if you're looking for an ice cream for your kids, up for the briars because let me show you the ingredients on here, how minuscule and how clean they are. So it's just milk cream. It does have sugar, guys, but all ice cream does except for Ribble or any kind of keto ice cream. Cocoa, and then it's got vegetable gum and natural flavorings, you know, which I would rather do without. But it's really clean. You have corn syrup, maltodextrin, and all the other ones. It's horrible. Definitely check. But Briars is a good brand with really simple ingredients. The boys have been playing outside. I thought it would be really cool to have some ice cream on hand. So I thought that was better than like an ice cream sandwich or some of the other crap. You know what I mean? So I opted for that one. Now, I used to buy these in the beginning of my keto journey. There's another brand I like. I think it's Smithfield at Rouse's. It's a cleaner version. It doesn't have dextrose. This one does. Most of your pork and bacon does. We've mentioned that before. But everybody's home. Everybody is home for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks, including the hubby. And even the hubby is wearing me out, y'all, on food. Like, these boys eat so much. And I thought this would be good for a breakfast option, do like a keto breakfast sandwich for the hub. So I got the family size bag. We only have a few more of those chicken sausages from Costco. I love those, but again, not going to Costco. So we got to work with what we're working with here. And it's not going to be a big deal, guys. If you have those, don't feel bad about it. I did get some more of the skinny pasta. I opted for the fettuccine because we are going to be doing Easter dinner this weekend. I'm going to try to make a keto mac and cheese like I made for Thanksgiving. It's not going to be exactly the same. And and these bags don't have a ton in them, but that's going to be enough for our side because I'm making other sides as well. So y'all check Walmart. Y'all been asking for the skinny pasta. They have these spaghetti noodles as well. I love that stuff. And check my what's for dinner on how I cook those up. I explained in that video. Speaking of Easter dinner, I got two cans of cut green beans. I like the Great Value brand because it is two net carbs for half a cup. Some of your other ones are higher in carbs and we're making Dak Keto Ladies smothered green beans. So stinking good. Now something else you don't see me ever haul is jelly so the hubs specifically requested some good jelly so all the sugar-free jellies guys have maltodextrin in them and sucralose which i'm not about maltodextrin i've mentioned before i would rather my boys and my hubby have sugar regular sugar than maltodextrin because it's that bad and that artificial and processed so i got this smuckers natural this is a blackberry i figured we'd try this one because trey likes blackberry and not so much strawberries and it's just blackberry sugar fruit pectin and citric acid that's it so it does have a lot of sugars guys but you're getting it primarily from your fruit and then a little bit of sugar and if you're just putting a little bit on their pb and j's or whatever the hubby wants to use it for the keto biscuits i know kind of contradicting uh, yourself there but you know what in the times that we're living right now if that's what the boy wants I'm gonna get him some natural sugar, not sugar-free, but some natural gel, you know what I mean? I got some sugar-free ketchup for Waylon Eats This Primarily. I love the Alterna Sweets, but we are out of the Alterna Sweets regular ketchup. I have plenty of the spicy, but not the regular. So this Primal Kitchen is better than the Heinz. Y'all have seen me haul the Heinz before. They were out. This is one sugar and two carbs for one tablespoon. So it's a little bit carbier in my opinion. However, you're getting that from your tomatoes and that's it. It doesn't have sucralose. It's all just spices in here. So this is a cleaner version than the Heinz, if you're wondering. But I like Alterna Sweets. It's lower in carbs. It's as clean as this, and it's delicious. So I'll link that down below if you want to try some good barbecue or ketchup in your life. We love the Alterna Sweets, but Waylon flies through it, so I need to make an order. I did get coffee wasted, as you're going to see. So I had a 24 pack of the vanilla as well. They were out of stock. So I just got the 24 pack of the American classic community coffee is my absolute favorite. If you watch my vlogs, you know, that's uh, my favorite. It's local to us and it's delicious. And anybody that I've sent this to as a gift or anybody that's tried it on my recommendation has loved it. 
So definitely try it out. They do have it on Amazon, but I just got a big box of the American because I'm actually almost out of coffee. What is my life? And then I did get some decaf. What is my life with this? I've been craving coffee in the evenings just to have a cup of coffee with my collagen and I don't wanna drink anything full of caffeine because I'm already staying up too late as it is. So I opted for this great value uh, breakfast blend decaf. This is a 12 count and I'm gonna enjoy that with my collagen in the evenings. Maybe at dessert time with a keto treat. I don't know, I've just been craving coffee in the evenings. Y'all let me know if you've been craving coffee like all the time, what is our deal? I was totally out of paprika and I just made a recipe with it and I used the rest of it. So I got a little 98 cent pack of that. The Vans gluten-free waffles were a hit last Last week we mentioned this in last week's haul they allowed me to put two so I did they were out of stock all week so happy to see that I was able to actually pick them up they love these and like I said I was making them but if they're not going to eat the ones I made that's wasteful and wasting my time these are good ingredients I don't they're not expensive honestly and I don't mind giving these to them because they're so good so we put some sugar-free syrup on here and some whipped cream and they're good to go for breakfast and that saves me too now for Easter baskets, because I got the kids over here. I did get some Quest little fill-ins, so I got the protein chips. These are the barbecue ones. We've never tried these before, but I know Waylon especially loves barbecue chips, so he'll love those. And Trey's favorite Quest chip is the ranch one. I know that's hard for y'all to believe if you've been with me since my couponing days, because he was a Doritos fan before we switched him last summer through and through. He likes these over the like nacho cheese Quest ones, so I got two of those for each of their baskets. Speaking of baskets, I did get some Easter eggs for us to do a little egg hunt in the backyard, hide some candy and stuff. They really enjoy that, and it's just gonna be us and my mother-in-law, so I thought that'd be fun. And I think that was like, I don't even know, it was less than $2. My Keto Coach Monitor, what is my life? The batteries went out in it to test my ketones for all my keto peeps watching. And I didn't have any of these obviously on hand. So I'm so excited to have this back because I've been doing this fasting challenge and I haven't been able to test my ketones. What the actual heck? So I think this is like $5, but definitely worth it because my monitor is useless without them. So I had to get that. I got some Easter napkins for our Easter dinner, but I'm super bummed because I thought these were big plates and these are small like dessert plates. So I meant to get these for like our dinner. That's okay though, we can eat our desserts and the boys can snack on those, but I really wanted some big plates for dinner, but it's all good. I did get some non-food items at Walmart. I was totally out of scrub sponges and I needed these and that was definitely cheap. Also some scrubbing bubbles fresh gel. I love these and I have no more of these from couponing and they're just a little cling things on your toilet bowl and they make your toilet smell so good, especially with boys in the house. That is a must and I haven't had that for months. So I went ahead and picked that up. Also needed some fabric for breeze. Now I have plenty of the spray like for your house, make your house smell good, but none for the fabric. And we've had some accidents with the boys with some PP and we need to freshen up some areas if you know what I mean. So this was actually a substitution. I put the extra strength one in my cart and it was out. So they subbed me for that one, but guess what? I don't have this at all, so I was happy to see it. So that is everything that I got from Walmart. A lot of this stuff is gonna last us for a month and so happy that they had what they did in stock. I'm so grateful for the pickup. Like I say every week, it has been a life saver and Walmart has been so spot on with their customer service. So like I mentioned earlier, Win Dixie for the win. I am so impressed with them. I was so distraught with Rouse's last week, but let me tell you, Win Dixie was incredible. So I went in and out in probably less than 10 minutes, guys, and this is what I got. So I needed some garlic powder. Walmart was out. It was out of stock, and so was Win Dixie. So all I could find was this huge big mamma jamma of the Badia garlic powder, but you know what? We go through garlic powder and it's not gonna go to waste. So I think this was like $1.99. Walmart was also out of stock of regular real onions. Yes, indeed, every type of onion in the store and the frozen. And y'all know I like the frozen anyway, so happy that Walmart, Walmart, when Dixie had the diced onions, these are the frozen ones. I like it just because it saves me from crying and dicing them up, like with the shredded lettuce. I might be lazy, but you know what? You can say what you want. I just love them and I think they're so great. I also get the frozen green bell peppers and stuff like that. I just think it's awesome. Like the frozen veggies are just my jam. I just love them. So I did get some community coffee from Winn-Dixie. They didn't have the French vanilla as I mentioned at Walmart, but they had it and guess what? It was on sale for $3.99 for 12 cups. So I spent way more for that 24 count than I did for these and it's the same amount, but you know what? It is what it is, I'm not complaining, I have it. I just hauled the bagels from Sam's as y'all saw, I know, so don't come for me, but they had 
Winn Dixie had everything. I am so shocked. They had every single type of Dave's Killer bread, bagels, all bread in general. So since I was in there, guys, and I'm not wanting to go in store, like my anxiety has been so bad, I just picked up things I know we're going to use, whether we necessarily need it or not, so I don't have to worry about it later. So I got two of the Boomin' Berry Dave's Killer bread. They love these. I give them half of one for breakfast or as a lunch option and it's clean, good ingredients. Again, my kids are not keto. I've gotten many new people ask me that. They are just gluten-free, low sugar, whole foods as possible than where we originally came from. They also had two different flavors of the Vans. They had the apple cinnamon and the blueberry. So again, and they were super cheap at Winn-Dixie. I wanna say they're cheaper there than they were at Walmart. I was very impressed. So I went ahead and got two of those. Again, I know they will get used. And then they had no tuna fish in sight for weeks now at Sam's Club and at Walmart. And being that everybody's home, I wanna make a big thing of tuna fish for the hubs to go in there and eat that for lunch because he's been wearing me out on lunches, y'all. So I got three, four packs of the Starkiss tuna. They had everything, every kind of tuna you can imagine and fully stocked. So, you know, I don't want anybody to say I'm hoarding. We will use this and like I said, my boys are flying through food like crazy. Please comment down below. Y'all been commenting, but I feel like all I do is feed, 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 make food, make food, cook, 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 snack, 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 and that includes my hubby. So I got three of these because that is all for my hubs right there. There you go. Now this is for me, this is for mama, so excited to see this. I couldn't get the vanilla at Walmart, but they had a four pack. I know they sell these at Target too, at Winn-Dixie. I did not know they sold, they sold this at Winn-Dixie. So this was $4.99 for four, maybe a couple more pennies more, but guess what? They had it, it was there, I'm getting it. So I got two of the four packs of the vanillas. I love adding some keto granola and a nut butter to that and some damn berries. Such a great treat for me. So happy to see this. So that is everything I got at Winn-Dixie. I wanna say Winn-Dixie, I did get my mother-in-law not pictured two big bags of frozen meatballs, she wanted that. So with that, it was like 50 bucks at Winn-Dixie. So yeah, we spent a lot, guys. Our grocery bill is going to go up because everybody's eating for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks 24 seven, including my hubs, which we were only basically eating dinner here and a couple of snacks except for the weekend. So it's a big change. So this should tide us over for the month except for some produce stuff. I'll have to go out every week just for some produce, but it will be super cheap every single week going forward. Whew, so I know that was a long grocery video. If you made it to the end, guys, give yourself a high five and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy grocery hauls here on my channel. Going to be doing, I think, going forward, especially with this quarantine, a big monthly haul like this, so we only have to go out for our produce. There's even a couple of farms near me that are doing like a weekly pickup produce, like box combo special thing, so I might even look into that so I don't have to go into town and be near a lot more people since we have so much on hand and so much on stock right now and just need some perishable things, and that is it. I might even look into that. But if you enjoyed today's video, definitely give it a thumbs up, like I said, and if you're not subscribed, I'd love to have you we usually do sam's club every single month I'm grateful for the pickup that i was still able to do it and we do a walmart pickup or some type of grocery haul every single week so if you enjoy grocery hauls in general i'd love to have you stick around and join the youtube fam and if you want to give it a share with someone that needs some tips about sam's club or a walmart grocery pickup definitely do that it helps so much thank y'all so much for watching y'all let me know how's it going where you are i'm very curious to see because like i mentioned we are in a hot spot here it is really bad the cases per person person ratio is just out of control and I want to hear where you are as far as if you're able to find eggs if you're able to find what you need how things are going if the pickups are chaotic if you're going into Costco or Sam's Club and people aren't social distancing y'all can get all your frustration and sound off in the comments below I would love to converse with you there and until next time we'll see you in the next video bye y'all